Hey, it's Rob, your no BS old school YouTube guy. I'm here to do a uh, preview of a bike build I did a while back. It's 1966 Schwinn Twin. I'm gonna take you through all the things I did with it. Uh, and I'll be back in a second. It is 1966 Schwinn Twin Single Speed. I bought this bike from a garage sale a few years back. Um, 300 bucks, I think it was. Uh, so you can see that I've done a couple modifications, nothing major. The only thing that's really non stock about this thing are the pedals and the handlebars, which made a huge difference and the way this bike looks. And I'm not gonna lie, this bike gets a lot of attention. I'll post up some still pictures of what it used to look like before uh, I broke it down, um, greased everything up, polished everything back up, repainted the frame, I painted the seats, changed out the tires, changed out the pedals, obviously changed out the bars and did some minor modifications to make all this stuff work. So I'll take you uh, as usual from front to back. So we come around here. This is a big, long bike. So as you can see, it's a single speed and it's a little difficult to ride. Great on flat surfaces. Uh, one thing you must have is a very willing and trusting partner who rides on the back of this thing. Uh, single speed, you can see the two gears in here. I took these things completely apart and polished. Uh, the crank set and polished up all the sprockets. Um, the wheels are uh, original. I took those and I polished those up. This thing was generally in pretty good shape. Uh, the back chrome fender you see here, I painted up these little gussets in here with just a silver satin paint. And you know, the fenders had a little bit of damage, so I did the best I could do to knock some of these dent out, dents out, but all in all, they're, uh, pretty good. So this bike was purchased in San Diego and you can tell it's an original San Diego bike, I guess, based off of the old school bicycle license that was came with this bike. So you take a look at it. This thing is an aluminum plate with stamped. It says San Diego bike and it's got the bicycle number. I don't know if you can see it in there pretty well, but I thought that was really, really cool. It used to have a leather strap on it and I put this Velcro on it, the leather was really deteriorated, so uh, I got rid of that. Um, but it kind of kind of makes the bike a little unique and kind of dates a little bit, which I thought was pretty slick. So getting over here on the back of the seat, you can see that I put a layback seat post on this thing. Um, I think it just made a lot of sense because what you're riding in the back right there, you, you're pretty tight to the person in front. So imagine this being straight up, it puts you probably I don't know, three or four inches closer if you had the stock seat post on there. This kind of gives you a little more comfort there in the back. Um, I took the seats apart and I went and repainted the undercarriage. This was all, you know, old and oxidized black paint. Um, same factory seat, it's got that same logo and emblem on there. And so I was able to find some paint that matched the existing seat color pretty well. It held up a little bit. I think what I did when I painted it, you can see that it's got some wear on there, is that I was getting impatient and I was putting heavier coats on it. So it took a really long time for it to dry. So uh, it stayed tacky for a long time. So if I was to do it again, I would have done several lighter coats and I think I would have got a better uh, outcome with that. Um, all the seat post clamps are in really good shape. I took those off and polished all those up. Um, I was able to find factory stickers. These are those wet transfer stickers. It's an original Schwinn uh, sticker on that post. And then also I was able to get the sticker that goes on this big long chain guard that comes across here. Um, this is factory. I guess you could call it a gooseneck. It attaches to the factory post. That was factory, I didn't change that. Um, I put the ape hangers on here. Uh, I had to put sleeves 
in here to make these fit properly. These, these bars were too skinny for this clamp. It, it holds up okay. I wouldn't use this on the front. You'll see when we get there, I changed that out. There's not that much, um, I guess, torque being pulled on these things when you ride it, because the person in the back is just pedal, is a peddler for the most part. Um, so they don't pull too hard on those and it seems to work out really well. Uh, the pedals are SE. I got a pack of these. You probably saw these pedals on my uh, clunker build that I did a video on. This, um, these were, I think they came two in a set and I bought two packs. So I had four sets of pedals. So I used those. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got a little tension pulley in through here to set your chain tension. It slides up and down, works out really nice. Um, and again, here's a factory sticker for the Schwinn with the old school little star. Um, everything's in really good shape here. Um, I added this basket on there. It's got a really nice stance. Change the tires and put the white wall tires on it. Um, so able to find, you know, here's the arrows on these things and the chrome, uh, I forget what they call those caps on there, but anyway, it was in really good shape and it rides really nicely. So here's the stem I changed out here. I had to put this clamp stem on here. Just too much torque when you're riding on the front, these bars would move, so I changed that out. Um, what else can I tell you about this bike? It's got some white grips, kind of matches everything else, some standard Schwinn bells. I don't know why I put a bell on the back. My wife likes to uh, ring the bell at people when we ride down at the boardwalk, so I give her a little control. Other than that, great bike. Don't ride it as much as I'd like. Um, just because my wife is not comfortable in the back. My son and his fiance ride this thing. They, they make this thing freaking whole ass. They ride it very well. Uh, the paint, that's something I wanted to get to. This was very, very close to uh, stock paint. I stripped the whole frame down and I was able to find some uh, automotive paint out of paint and body store. Um, it's a Chrysler color. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's got a slight metallic in it. And this was a uh, Y2, or no, a, a 2X paint with a 2X clear sealer with a hardener in it. So uh, it took three cans of paint to paint this frame. Actually, hang on a second. It took two cans of paint. I probably could have used a third coat. Um, it burns up a lot of paint for the plain fact is that you don't have wide surface area on this. So a lot of it gets wasted, but the finished product turned out really, really nice has a good factory kind of finish to it. If you rub your hands on it, you can find some, some parts that are a little like behind here, it feels a little bit bumpy, but generally speaking, it turned out really nice. And then after I painted it, I put the, uh, the stickers on here, the water transfer stickers, and then I sprayed uh, a clear sealer with hardener on it over uh, the top of it. So it turned out really nice. It's a bike that people really really appreciate it's fun to ride and you get a lot of comments about it um fun build took some some effort but uh it turned out beautifully i just I guess i have to get a divorce and find a new girlfriend who likes to ride on the back back of that i'm kidding anyway uh hey that's my review of my 66 schwinn twin uh if you have any uh, comments uh like and subscribe and put a comment down below and uh we'll uh, we'll see you on the next video I'm out of here, thanks.